Today we will tell you a story about a lion and a mouse. Once there was a lion who lived in a jungle. He was the king of the jungle and all the animals feared him. He was strong and brave, but also lazy and arrogant. He spent most of his time sleeping under a tree while the other animals hunted for food. One day a mouse was looking for food in the jungle. He was small and timid, but also curious and clever. He liked to explore new places and find new things. He ran around the jungle searching for seeds and nuts. As he was running, he stumbled upon the lion's tree. He saw the lion sleeping under the tree, snoring loudly. He was curious about the lion and wanted to see him up close. He climbed on the tree and reached the lion's head. The mouse decided to have some fun with the lion. He tickled the lion's ear with his tail and made him twitch. He giggled and repeated the action. He thought the lion was harmless and funny, but the lion was not amused. He woke up and roared angrily. He caught the mouse with his paw and glared at him. He was furious and hungry. He decided to eat the mouse for his breakfast. Please, please spare me, Mr. Lion. I'm sorry for disturbing you. It was just a joke. Please let me go. I'm too small and insignificant for you. You won't even feel me in your stomach. Please have mercy on me. Ha, ha, ha. You are so funny, little mouse. You think you can tickle me and get away with it? You think you can make fun of me and live? You are so foolish and stupid. You are nothing but a snack for me. I will eat you and forget you. Please, please don't eat me, Mr. Lion. I beg you, spare my life. I promise I will never bother you again. I promise I will be grateful to you forever. I promise I will help you some day, if you ever need me. Ha, ha, ha. You are so hilarious, little mouse. You think you can help me some day? You think you can repay me for sparing your life? You are so naive and silly. You are nothing but a weak and useless creature. You can never help me. I am the king of the jungle. I don't need anyone's help. But the lion was not cruel. He was just proud and arrogant. He had a change of heart and decided to spare the mouse's life. He thought it was beneath him to kill such a small and harmless animal. He thought it was a sign of his generosity and magnanimity to let the mouse go. All right, all right, enough of your whining. I will spare your life, little mouse, but don't ever bother me again, and don't ever think you can help me. You are too small and weak to do anything for me. Now go away and leave me alone. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Lion. You are so kind and generous. You are the true king of the jungle. I will never forget your mercy. I will always remember your favor. And I will help you some day if you ever need me. Goodbye, Mr. Lion. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Just go away and don't come back. And don't talk nonsense. You can never help me. You are too small and weak to do anything for me. Goodbye, little mouse. And so the mouse ran away happily, and the lion slept peacefully. They both went on with their lives, unaware of what the future had in store for them. A few days later, the lion was walking in the jungle looking for food. He was hungry and restless. He did not notice a hunter's net that was hidden in the grass. He stepped on it and got caught in it. He tried to free himself, but the net was too strong and tight. He roared and struggled, but it was in vain. He was trapped and helpless. The mouse was also in the jungle looking for food. He heard the lion's roar and recognized his voice. He remembered the lion who had spared his life. He felt sorry for the lion and decided to help him. He ran towards the lion and saw him in the net. He was shocked and scared but also brave and loyal. And... Hello, Mr. Lion. Do you remember me? I'm the mouse who you spared a few days ago. I'm here to help you. Don't worry. I will free you from this net. Hello, little mouse. Yes, I remember you. You are the mouse who I spared a few days ago. You are here to help me? How can you help me? You are too small and weak to do anything for me. Don't underestimate me, Mr. Lion. I may be small and weak, but I am also smart and clever. I can bite this net and make a hole in it. 
Then you can escape from it. Watch me. And so the mouse started to bite the net and make a hole in it. He used his sharp teeth and his quick movements. He worked hard and fast. He made the hole bigger and bigger until it was big enough for the lion to pass through. There, Mr. Lion. I have made a hole in the net. Now you can escape from it. Come on, hurry up. The hunter may come back soon. Follow me. Thank you. Thank you, little mouse. You have saved my life. You have helped me. You have repaid me for sparing your life. You are so smart and clever. You are so brave and loyal. You are my friend. You are welcome, Mr. Lion. I'm glad I could help you. I'm glad I could repay you for sparing my life. You are so kind and generous. You are so strong and brave. You are my friend. And so the lion and the mouse walked away together, as friends. They had learned a valuable lesson that day. They had learned that size and strength are not everything. They had learned that kindness and compassion are more important. They had learned that anyone can help anyone, no matter how big or small. They had learned that friendship is the greatest adventure of all. And that was the story of the lion and the mouse. We hope you enjoyed it and learned something from it. Thank you for watching. Music